Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'd like to show you how to install an underflow heating uh, mat. Uh, this mat will be under the wood basically, on top will be laminate flooring. Uh, the brand of the mat is uh, ProWarm, also the insulation board, the orange stuff that you see behind me, this is ProWarm insulation board 6mm. I've got two layers of it. So in this video I'm going to show you how to lay this mat, how to cut it, basically how to install the mat. So when you buy the mat on the internet, uh, you also need to get the orange stuff, that's the underlay, the ProFoam underlay. Uh, so this basically is 6 mil thick, but you can get thicker, I, I guess. And uh, you put putting it straight onto the concrete floor, then as you see on this picture, there's the concrete floor, then the underlay, then on the underlay goes the actual mat, and wooden floor or laminate floor on top of this. So before order the mat, obviously measure the room uh, and order something about 10 to 20% less as you don't want to uh, go the mat uh, under the skirting uh, and you don't want to have it too much because you, don't, you, you, you cannot cut this mat if it's too long basically. Also before installing the mat you need to figure out the layout roughly how, it, how you want to lay it under the floor. You see, in this case, I've got the thermostat next to the switch somewhere here. So I need to start at this point. Much, much easier will be start from the, basically, one corner. But in this case, I need to start it from here. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll it up to this wall, then back up to this point, and so on. And at the end of the room, this is the, the end of the room. So this mat will come up to here. I've got space left here for two length of the mat. Might be a bit confusing what I'm saying, but uh, as you watch the video, you will see what I mean. Uh, that's the cable that you need to connect to the uh, thermostat. And, the ter and obviously it has to be long enough to reach the thermostat. So that's why I'm starting in the middle of the room. Here will be the thermostat, and the cable needs to go inside the wall. Also, you need to test this mat uh, before cutting laying onto the floor, as if it's damaged, you can't return it to the shop. Every mat's got a label, and on this label, there's some information like total power, the length of the mat, uh, voltage, and resistance. In this case, it's 34 ohms. To check it, we need to use a multimeter. You see this sign, that's the resistance. So, you need to Put it onto 200. So then we need to test these two wires, the blue one and the brown one. You take the two probes from the multimeter, stick it onto the wires at the end, and the multimeter should show the resistance. So 30, 34.1. So basically that's the resistance, you can check on the mat, it should be 34 ohms. So it's very similar, I'm sure that the mat is not damaged so I can lay it. Another tip, you see there's a sticker on the mat, this side down, so basically you need to uh, put the mat this, this way down. As if you put on the other side, you've got the exposed heating wires, which can be damaged if it's under the floor. So I rolled the first line, you see I left some gap between the wall and the mat. As in the walls there are basically some wires, cables, so you don't want to heat them up. So now when you come to the, uh, the end of the wall, obviously you need to cut this mat. You need to use the scissors uh, to do it. You can cut the foil, but don't cut these wires. These wires, when you cut it, the mat is damaged and it's not gonna heat. So basically what you do, you just cut it under the wires. Right in the middle. See, 
see I cut the foil by the the wire is still here. And now we just pull this mat on the other side. And roll it this way. Then we come with the point when there is a corner, there's always some problems with the corner because uh, I don't I want this mat to go somewhere up to here. I need to do two more cuts. And then this mat will continue somewhere here. I've got the same problem here. This why I joined these two mats. I cut a bit in a foam. So it's not so perfect like in advertisement. Sometimes you have to do these kind of things. But as long as you not the, cut the wire and not damage the wire, so this is acceptable. So when you buy a pro warm kit, basically the mat and the thermostat, they also supply you with the insulation tape. This is for taping the, the mat onto the uh, foam. So then it's not moving uh, under the uh, laminate flooring, so it's not gonna get damaged. Also when you join two pieces of mat, like this one, so you see exposed wire, so they supply uh, the metal foil, so you need to stick it under the cable, join these two, um, these two foils on, on the bottom and on the top, so there is an add continuity when you join it together.
So finally, I've got the, the mat taped to the floor. It's all spread over the floor. And there's one more thing I want to show you. Obviously, the tester, the probe. Uh, this measure the temperature of the floor and send it to the thermostat. So you need to wire this end to the thermostat and this end you need to place under the mat. Obviously in this supply also the, uh, the conduit, so you need to put it into here. So I put the probe into the conduit and the probe should be flush with the foam. So we can tape it here. And the probe should be in between two wires of the mat. So you see there are two wires and this will be right in between. And then right here. There are the wires, that's the probe. Also this cable is quite thicker here, so I need to cut it in the foam just to make it flash with the rest. So now the floor is ready for fitting laminate flooring. Uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how to wire uh, the thermostat to the mains and to the underfloor heating mat. How to connect all of this. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.